Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with a little bit different video. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention to the channel over a long period of time, you've probably seen my weight fluctuate up and down, and right now it's actually down way lower than it has been in a really long time. Well, that is thanks to my good friend Don Funk and a little bit of dedication on my side. So uh, my good friend Don uh, reached out a little over a year ago about teaching a class for endur like an enduro-specific fitness class uh, to help you or for my uh, race team. And I was like, yeah, let's get into that. So we did that. I took the class. I finally got dedicated, I finally started losing some weight, and I've really changed my body a lot. I'm really excited about that, but I have a long way to go. I'm still kind of flabby, I'm lower on weight, uh, and I'm definitely in pretty good shape, but I'm softer than I want to be. I want to be fitter, I want to be leaner, and I want to be stronger. My upper body strength is not that great. This doesn't help. Um, <laughs> but uh, I really think that that is the next key to me going a little bit faster on the motorcycle is having a little bit more upper body strength, um, obviously, and working on my cardio and all that other stuff, which is pretty darn good right now. Um, and then obviously skills. There's, there's so much into it, right? Um, but the one thing I do lack is that strength. I do get fatigued in my upper body a lot. So anyway, Don and I are working on a plan it's all coming together and today is the first part of that plan the first thing that we're going to do we are going to grand junction to colorado mesa university or cmu uh, campus and we are doing some fitness testing we're going to do uh probably vo2 max uh anyway we're gonna do a bunch of stress test stuff and uh, do a bod pod and figure out what my actual body fat percentage is which is pretty high sadly i know i gotta work on that um and we're basically setting a baseline for this thing, and it's really exciting. Uh, I've never done anything like this. Um, I've been taking this whole thing way more seriously, a little more scientific. I'm using a Garmin uh, watch to track my heart rate and blah, 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 all the things. So if you're interested in that, if that's something that you also want to dive into, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit your little notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'm going to be doing more videos like this this year as we move through the year and I try to get fitter, get faster, get stronger, uh, and put better results on the board. Uh, and then also just be around longer for my kids <laughs> and uh, hopefully get to ride with them a lot longer and keep up with them, at least try. I'll never probably catch them again, but as long as I'm close, uh, that's all I'm looking for. So anyway, that sounds like fun. Here we go. All right, guys, we are in the car heading towards Grand Junction. I'm with Don, and we're heading up, and I was just asking Don, we're gonna repeat a couple things here. So where are we heading, Don? Heading, heading to uh, Colorado Mesa University Human Performance Lab. Right on, and uh, this is like a student teacher thing, like just teaching students how to do this kind of stuff? Right, so we're gonna be doing a um, ventilory threshold test, a um, lactate, threshold test and a bod pod reading which will give us lean body mass right on I'm super excited I've never done any of this I've obviously been active and worked out my whole life and I've felt my fluctuations up and down forever but I've never looking looked at it scientifically and as I mentioned before at the beginning of this video uh, I've been doing a lot more scientific stuff with my body recently and it's been working um, I'm down to a lower weight than I have been in probably 15, maybe, God, maybe almost 18 years since I started the shop, um, which, let me just, a uh, quick little thing here. If you want a way to create stress and have your body not be in great shape, start a business. Uh, <laughs> that will... A two-stroke motorcycle repair business. Yeah, that will uh, help you to see the struggles. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, heading up to Grand Junction. It's kind of snowy and stuff, so we will check in when we get there. It's gonna be rad. For uh, all my stuff. Yes, we're doing it. You, you guys are both doing one, right? Yep. Or, I'm, I'm Jacob. Dot. Dot. Morgan. Morgan. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Wyatt. Morgan. Morgan. Dot. Uh, Wyatt. Nice to meet you guys. Wyatt. Yeah. Morgan. Nice, nice to meet, meet you guys. You. Welcome. I know. How's it going? Sick here. Got a recent injury. Yeah. Feels good. Okay. Like bars. So we're going to collect expired gases and lactate measures. Mm -hmm. E 
each stage will be four minutes, and that's so that we reach a steady state. Otherwise, the data are pretty useless for creating training zones. So why it here at three minutes is going to take your hand, and you're just going to hold it up while you're spinning. You're going to supinate it, so go ahead and supinate for me. And he's going to take a blood lactate measure on whichever finger you prefer, usually your index finger, it doesn't really matter. And you're, the idea here is for you to keep spinning, but you're also going to have a headset on, a mouthpiece in. Um, there's reasons we do that, we can go over that after. Like, that works if you fit with that 220 minus your age, but a lot of people don't. So right. for example, earlier today, we had somebody that had just reached threshold and they were already past their maximal heart rate. Mm -hmm. So if you could, when we send the report, it'll have the equation, so you can add in whatever heart rate you want to extrapolate an accurate VO2 measure, but it's best to actually know what your max heart rate is. Right. Well, the only way to know it is to... Yeah, go out and... Them. Yeah, exactly. and I have an office in a gym. Okay. And the, the... We had a former professor who tried to, like, can you do the <coughs> The report, though, will have an equation. So I'm going to tell you what, I mean, if we use your age predicted max heart rate, it's lower than this. So my like extrapolation... Is <laughs> All right, guys. <coughs> so Don and I went and had some lunch. <clears throat> we're going back for the bod pod so body fat percentage whole thing um results from the test were good um i guess that i looked more calm than i actually was which is uh cool i guess i don't know my brain seems to like to suffer but my body was metabolizing like hard and uh i was close to blowing up but i felt good um and uh my vo2 max looks good um for, you know we're gonna we're gonna get the real numbers we're gonna have to go actually get a real um, heart rate max heart rate they didn't take us a max because I guess we're too old uh, <laughs> Don and I are too old to be doing max heart rate tests so we didn't get a full max uh, but Don and I both are in the good to excellent range for our age um, again assuming we extrapolate further out uh, but um, yeah, super happy about that. So now we're gonna go get our body makeup uh, stuff done. And uh, yeah, I'm excited guys. We're gonna learn a lot as we do this and end up hopefully getting in way better shape and um, maybe going faster on a motorcycle. It'd be awesome. What do you got, anything done? Any info? No, it went great. Yeah. Can't wait to see the bod pod. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, guys, we're doing the bod pod. How does this work? You know, we, how does so this thing do what it does? You sit in there, and it knows how much volume is in there. It knows there's about 4.6 liters of air in there, and it measures the amount of air you're displacing in there. And because it knows, like, the density of muscle and the density of fat, muscle is going to be heavier but take up less space and uh, fat is gonna be less heavy, but take up more space. Gotcha. And then also knowing it's gonna take your weight and it knows your height and using all of those things and the amount of air you're dis displacing, it's gonna calculate your body fat percentage I know. and your lean mass. So in we go. All right guys, so got done with the body pod. Uh, percent, body percent fat is 21.2 for me. Um, I'm running. And uh, that is right on the border of being excess fat and moderately lean, moderately lean. It's on the excess fat side. So I knew that was the case. Uh, I know I'm soft right now, a little bit flabby, and uh, that's okay though, because now I know what I gotta work for and towards. And then also, I think a lot of this stuff is like information to improve, but then you gotta make a decision like, what's your quality of life? 
do you really want to go down to like not eating anything fun? How hard do you want to work? All that stuff. At almost 50 years old, I'm not going to get away with eating really fun stuff and still being really lean. That's just not going to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, guys. This was a great trip with Don. Don, thank you so much you bet. for setting this thing up. Guys, I will put a, uh, I'll put, uh, should I put your, not your phone number, your email. I'll put Don's email in the link below, in the description below. If you guys want to get a hold of him, even if you're out of state, he can train you um, and uh, help get you dialed in. Like, I'm in way better shape than I was this time last year. So I'm excited. Things are, we're moving in the right direction. And now I know what I really have to work on. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. And I'm gonna get there. We're getting way more detailed results emailed to us. Uh, Cause they, <clears throat> they gotta do a bunch of math and whatever. Anyway, that's all happening. Um, also, you guys can contact the, what is this? What was it? The Mesa uh, University. Colorado Mesa University. Human Performance Lab. Human Performance Lab. Um, get a hold of those guys. They'll do. I mean, you can, I think you can just walk in, or maybe you have to make a phone call. Yeah, but, yeah make an appointment. But yeah, you got to make an appointment. But anyone can come up here and get this stuff done, guys. Uh, it costs 260 bucks to do what we did today, and also another bod pod later, so we can kind of track things and see how we're doing. Um, yeah. So, like I said, that includes what we did on the bike, plus the bod pod, plus another bod pod. So, anyway, super psyched, guys. That was awesome. We're going to head back down to Montrose. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on this video. Hope it was interesting. Um, I know it's not the normal content for the uh, channel, but that's okay. Um, this is my life. This channel is my life, and this is part of it. If you're interested, cool. If not, don't worry. Just skip on to the next channel, next video. Um, the Fantic is coming very soon. It's actually on its way to Denver. It might actually be in Denver right now. So um, yeah, stay tuned for Fantic content and mechanic content and all that good stuff.